Hi, my name is John Crouched. My call sign is K-A-A-R-V-I, and I'm with Shelby County A-R-E-S. I'm the Ops Chief, and we're going to be doing some training on the generator. Um, the generator we're going to be covering today is a Honda generator that is mounted on the front of our unit. So the first thing we want to make sure is when you uh, come around here, you're going to see that there's a valve here. This is your fuel. It's off right now. There it's on. And this here would be the choke. We'll come back to that later. But you want to take your key and you want to put it in here. And eventually this key is going to be attached to the units because so it don't get lost. We're not going to start it up, but I'll just go through the motions here. You turn your key on. You take your choke here, pull it out, and then you would take your key and start it and it'll start pretty quickly and then adjust your choke as needed pushing it back in and then letting it run it's on eco throttle the cables are already plugged in that uh, supply the power back to the units they're all in and this here is your 120 and your 240 versus your 120 you always want to leave it on the 120 240 even though we do not run anything that is 220, we have a setup that it runs on this and it gives us more power this way. The way we distribute it and it's wired. Other than that, you have your fuel, your fuel gauge. If you need any more fuel, it's in the back right corner compartment on, the, uh, on this unit here. So that would be for putting fuel in there. And when you're done, make sure you just shut your key off like that. And then turn your fuel off right here, and it would be like that. And that would be pretty much the general operations of it, and thank you very much. Okay, we're going to cover our two little suitcase generators, as they're fondly called, or the EU2000 companion generators. We have two of them. You can see we have a few things here. When using these generators, because they're small, we always want to use our what they call Python cable lock. So that's what that's for. For that, you basically just stick it in and then it shove it through. And the more you shove, the tighter it gets, but you can't pull it back out. So you always want to use these. You want to run that through your handles if you're running them close together, as well as your gas tank. So what we have here is a additional fuel tank. It allows us to run quite a bit longer. We have what they call the Berg system on here. With these, you just pull this little thing back, and when you push it on, it pops on. We'll do it again on this one. You can see it's pulled back right now. Push it on, and it pops. So those are on. The system works that these tanks have to be full, and then as they go down, slowly draws the fuel out of your auxiliary tank into this tank. So for training purposes we're going to disconnect that right there. A few things on these generators. You have your choke here. You're on. You're off. Or recoil pull start. You have an eco throttle. Usually we typically just leave that on. Now, you can connect these two generators. We do not do that in these operations because it does not benefit us at all. So, you have your two 110s. On this one, you have a 110 and a 220, 26 amp. So, excuse me, that's not a, that's not a 220, that's just a uh, 26 amp outlet. But we do not use that. So when you start it, you want to put your choke on. Turn this on, because we're outside here, this should be you can see it starts right up there. Take your choke off, smooth out, so our equal throttle is on. So typically we just run our equal throttle on and it keeps the RPMs down and extends your, your life of your engine or your gas. So. Off. And that is the pretty simple operations of these two generators. So when you plug these in, typically running just the scares to you. 
you would typically plug one outlet there, one cord there, on those two. Okay, thank you very much and have a good day, 73s.